Ast- extract. The year is 2120. London is in ruins. It's down to Prince Albert, a small boy who's never been outside Buckingham Palace to save the world. Here is an extract from the book, The Beast of Buckingham Palace. Knock, knock. It's the morning. It was morning. Alfred was awoken sharply by a knocking bedroom door. But it wasn't, it wasn't someone knocking on the door. It's somebody knocking into the door. Or rather not someone, but something. Oh no, the oof of a boat. The rover butler was char- charged with waking the prince up every morning. But all he was doing right now was crashing repeatedly to the door. Knock, knock, knock. Wait, Ockerbutt, wait. It was Nanny's voice. Wait, I haven't unlocked the door yet. Naughty, Ockerbutt. Knock, knock, clink. The old lady opened the bedroom door precariously, balancing the breakfast tray she was carrying in one hand. As soon as the door was fully open, the Ockerbutt trudled slap bang into the door frame. Doink! Next it darted into the box shelf. Smash! The box rumbled to the floor. Funk, think, funk. Finally the Ockerbutt trudled over the, to the four post of bed, humping, bumping into post. So hard, crunch. It nearly made it into a free poster bed. It is going in doing so, another one with Robert's arms, the one with the duster snap attached, broke clean off snap. Yoko only had four of his eight arms left. Oh got a big bait. Good evening, Empress, it announced a posh vo- robotic voice. Well, Alfred rolled his eyes. Not again. It is time to troop the colour, malfunction. Address the nation, malfunction. Open the library, malfunction. I can't control it, sir, shouted Nanny. Other voice. The old lady was so animated. A false teeth were clickety clicking like crazy. All right. All right, Uckerbot, shouted Alfred. It's all good. Thank you. Now I won't. I'm awake. Wake up, said the robot. The fly squatter on the end of one of his arms whacked the boy repeatedly on the forehead. Twank. Ouch, malfunction. Twack. Twack. Ouch. Malfunction. Twack. Ouch. Malfunction. That hurts you, mechanical dustbin, shouted Alfred. The next whack hit the boy so hard. Wank. The fly squatter arm came clean off. He fell to the floor with a clank. Three arms left. The upper butt, or rather the Tin Tribute Butt was, was oblivious. If that will that be all, I must go. I'll water the curtains. Malfunction. Iron the roses. Malfunction. Stir the toilets. Malfunction. 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 What? With that, the Ockerbot spun around the Prince's bedroom and with remaining arms knocking a table over a bonk, smashing an antique vase to the praise pieces, crash, and hurling a statue to the floor. Wallop! Make it stop, shouted Alfred. And her not Annie threw the plate to the floor she was carrying down to the bed and bashed the robot butler with an antique silver tray. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And she bashed it some, some more. Clunk, 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 clunk. And some more. Clunk, 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 clunk. Shh, you talking toilet she shouted shoo you talking toilet she shouted congratulations to your coronation were his last words as the old girl the robot showed the robot out of the room slammed the door shut thud thank goodness for that said Alfred I wish that thing had an off button any news of my mother he said arse easily none said Annie bow into her head I'm sorry, my little prince. Not at all. All I know is that the Queen has kept prisoner in the Tower of London. Alfred sat on her bed, up in bed sharply. I need to rescue her.